Now a few questions in a part that I'll call, if you were premier, related to hot button topics I've seen on social media and in media in general. So the first one, if you were premier, what would your plan be for the housing situation in Nova Scotia? Well, we need, uh, we need more supply. So we need to be able to build in our communities in a more dense manner. Uh, and that means we have to work with our municipalities to look at zoning laws. You know, the, the countries that are succeeding at increasing housing stock and ensuring that it's more for affordable are the ones that don't have restrictive zoning laws that only allow single family houses to be built in certain neighborhoods, for example. So if we're gonna be honest, that's something that we, we have to be looking at. Uh, we need to see government investment also in affordable housing and emergency housing for people that find themselves homeless. We just had an incredible year in Nova Scotia, the biggest hurricane we ever had, the largest wildfires we've ever had, uh, the largest flood, I think, in living memory. And we've got people that are living in tents and living in parks right now. Uh, and we have another storm coming this weekend. So that is a really scary situation. And if you talk to doctors in our emergency rooms, uh, they're telling us that folks that do not have shelter are showing up in our hospitals and overloading our, our hospital system. So housing is also a health issue. Uh, finances are also a health issue because we know when people are stressed financially, can't afford to pay their bills, uh, seniors that, that are facing remortgaging with higher interest rates that can't afford their mortgages anymore, this creates stress on the body and creates illness in people. And these folks are showing up in our hospitals. And we also have to look at supporting the younger generation of Scotians that are coming up that don't know if they're ever going to be able to afford a home here or a place to live and develop uh, programs in place to help get uh, young people who want to build their family here into the housing market. And everything seems interconnected, so if you fix one thing, it kind of fixes two or three other things. Well, I certainly think if, if we can develop progressive, innovative policies and programs to help people deal with, with cost of living pressures and with housing in particular, that is going to help take some stress off of the healthcare system and help people do better at a time when they're really struggling. Yep. All right, the second, if you were Premier, what would your plan be to deal with our homelessness situation in HRM and other parts of the province? We, we've got to have emergency housing in place. There is no real emergency housing that is uh, province-wide in Nova Scotia. We have a lot of good uh, local community groups that have very limited amount of space. You know, we've got, uh, I'm familiar with the ones in Yarmouth that probably have, you know, eight uh, rooms, eight to 12 rooms to look after people, but the amount of homelessness is increasing so drastically. 50% more people, 50% more uh, this year than last year of people that are homeless. Like that is a drastic increase. So we need to either uh, build uh, emergency housing uh, for these for these folks, emergency, emergency shelters, uh, or work with not-for-profits in our communities to help them expand what they have available to ensure they can take more people. And we've got great not-for-profits uh, across Nova Scotia who really care about this, who work hard to support people that do not have shelter, and government needs to be there to help them as well. But we, we've seen... Um, not a, not a real helpful attitude toward this. Like we had the Minister of Community Services, again, who has frozen income assistance rates for two years in a row, uh, compare the increase in homelessness to, to summer camping. And if, if that's the attitude that we have, we're, we're not going to get anywhere. So we, we need to have some real immediate uh, action on that or people are going to be in harm's way, particularly as hurricane season is upon us and, and winter is, is fastly approaching. All right. Uh, the third, if you were Premier, what would your plan be to fix health care, including the doctor shortage, paramedics, to entice them to come here to, or to stay here after schooling? Well, we've seen an exodus of uh, family doctors. They've left their practice, not necessarily leaving the province, some of them have, but they're working in other parts of our healthcare system, like the emergency departments, where they're also needed, uh, mobile clinics. And they're doing that because uh, they have less overhead and um, it's more economical for them to do that. And, and perhaps less long-term stress in dealing with, with patients long-term. So we have to incentivize getting doctors back into family practice and uh, make it uh, worthwhile uh, for them. Uh, 
So that's something that we need to see. We really need to turn this uh, situation around with family uh, doctors and, and primary care because when people don't have a family doctor, they're not taking care of their health as well. We know that statistically. Uh, they're showing up in the emergency rooms for non-urgent care and creating more pressure on the short uh, the staff that are already short uh, with vacancies in our emergency rooms. And they're also increasing the wait times for specialists. Um, so we really have to deal with, 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 with family medicine and, and getting people attached to a family doctor. And we have to really start thinking long term about what we're going to do with health care. Ninety percent of the resources spent in our health care system are in the last three months of somebody's life. And you know that that does make sense because that's when people need the most amount of care and the most resources the most quickly. But we have to start focusing more on preventative care in Nova Scotia, actually paying attention to people's health. And that means doing early detection for things like diabetes, uh, cardiovascular issues, uh, certain cancers that we have high rates of. And if we can catch a lot of these illnesses sooner, um, not only are we going to uh, support our healthcare system and take pressure off of it, but we're also going to help people live longer and uh, be more happy and, and, and thrive and spend more time with their families and spend less time in the hospital. So we really have to develop, I think, a preventative uh, care regime in Nova Scotia operationally to catch illnesses earlier uh, and also to help people uh, be healthier and make sure that we are an affordable province to live and that we have housing because those are and, and, and access to good quality food because we know those are major factor factors in, in health outcomes for people.